Hey Buffs, I'm your host Mark and I've got some announcements for you. Baseball has a tournament at Irving High today, as well as softball has a tournament in Denton today and tomorrow. Boys soccer is versus Timber Creek at 6.30 and girls soccer at Timber Creek at 6.30. That's all we have for today. Go Buffs! What's up, Buffs? I'm Lucas, and I'm here with Mr. Williamson, and he would like to thank everybody for all the uh, the prayers and the phone calls and the emails um, while he was out at the time. Go Buffs! Our person today is Rosa Parks. She was born on February 4, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. Rosa Louise McCauley Parks was an American activist in the Civil Rights Movement, best known for her pivotal role in the Montgomery Bus Boycott. The United States Congress has honored her as the First Lady of Civil Rights and the mother of the Freedom Movement. On December 1, 1955, in Montgomery, Alabama, Parks rejected bus driver James F. Blake's order to vacate a row of four seats in the colored section in favor of a white passenger. This became known as the Montgomery Bus Boycott. Parks' act of defiance and the Montgomery Bus Boycott uh, became important symbols of the movement. She became an international icon of resistance to racial segregation and organized and collaborated with civil rights leaders including Edgar Nixon and Martin Luther King Jr. Rosa Parks was brave, and I feel that she changed our history, showing that no matter what people tell her, she won't stand down, and she won't let people mock her because she had the goal of justice to achieve. After retirement, Parks wrote her autobiography and continued to insist that there was more work to be done in the struggle for her justice. Upon her death in 2005, she was the first woman to lie in honor in the capital of Rotawanda. Quote by her is, People always say that I didn't give up because I was tired. But that isn't true. The only tired I was was tired of giving in. Rosa Parks. Hi, my name is Sergio. Welcome back to Shoutouts. Today we have Matt Brown. And do you have any shoutouts you want to do today? Yeah, I will. Uh, Orlinda from Front Office, uh, Mr. Sanders class, uh, Mr. Dickinson's fourth period class, uh, and also Mr. Garcia. Uh, also, all of Haltom High School. Y'all are awesome. I'm a sub here. Y'all are great. I have not had any complaints whatsoever. Congratulations. Hey, we're in Mr. Sanders' class. I uh, just want to give a shout out to Mr. Sanders. Uh, you need to get better because your class misses you. Go Buffs! Hi Buffs, welcome back to Buff Interviews where we have the best interviews ever. Today's question is, if you were the president, what would your first lobby? Go. 
Okay, so what's your name and your position at this school? Hi, I'm Crispin Cortez. I am a retired assistant principal. Uh, I'm helping substitute. Okay, and so if you were the president, what would your first lobby? Oh, that is so easy. I would ask Congress to make moves to subsidize and give teachers more money. That's easy. Yeah, here it go Bubs. Okay, what's your name and grade? Hi, my name is Samantha and I'm in ninth grade. Okay, so if you were the president, what would your first law be? Free papers for everybody. Okay, period. Go Bubs. <laughs> okay, what's your name and your position at this school? Michael Garcia, assistant principal. Okay, so if you were the president, what would the first law you make be? Well, really, if I was president, my first, it wouldn't be really a law. It'd be like I'd set up a committee right away. Um, one of my hearts is really about helping homeless people. I have a desire like to try to want to help them out in some way. Uh, not necessarily just give them money, but what can we do to help the homeless people out? Because there's a lot of people who just need a place to live, and it just, uh, I'm sure you've seen those really cold nights, and, I, and my heart goes out to that, those kinds of families and people in need. Okay, really good answer. Go Buffs. Uh, okay, what's your name and grade? Uh, Jared. Okay, so what would the first law be if you were the president? Um, to see, to everyone, so everyone can go to school and learn. Okay, period. Go Buffs. Hi, my name is Gabby Avery. I'm your host for Buff News today, and I'm here with... Um, you're here, Torres. Oh, yeah, I'm a sophomore. And today's question is, if you were president, what law would you change? I would change the law of, like, the minimum wage and stuff. I would raise the minimum wage, you feel me? We need more money and stuff. Like, people really out here struggling and not getting enough money. So, like, yeah, I'd change that law. Go Buffs. Uh, hey, Buffs. My name is Mark, and I'm here with... Miss Webster. And today, we're going to ask some questions. Uh, what subject do you teach? I teach English, too. Um, do you have any hobbies or things you enjoy doing outside of school? My favorite hobby would have to be photography. Uh, what about your favorite drink? Oh, my favorite drink is bubble tea, any kind. Awesome. Thank you. Go Buffs. Hey Buffs, my name's Mark, and I'm here with... Mrs. English. And today we are going to ask some questions. So what subject do you teach? I teach English. Awesome. Uh, what would you like to say to all the future teachers out there? Um, future teachers, you are in for a ride. Um, it's not easy. There, it, It's hard. It, it's tough. But Gen Z, the phrase, the kids are all right, these kids are going to just take the world by storm. They're going to change it. They're going to do great things. I'm just so proud of my little baby buffs. Uh, what's your favorite drink? Coffee. <laughs> Same. Go buffs. What's up, y'all? It's me, Lukey Pookie, here with... Chris. And this is your gaming news. On March 7th, the Skull Merchant will be coming out in Dead by Daylight. She's the first original modern female slasher in Dead by Daylight and is the first killer to use modern technology. Using her ability, Eyes in the Sky, she's able to use four drones to keep an eye on the survivors. These drones are made with the skulls of the survivors, and Behavior Interactive says that rival players will need to strategize on ways to avoid and disable the drones. A few weeks ago, Nintendo has made a few announcements for upcoming games and DLCs. Here are the games and DLCs. Pikmin 4, Splatoon 3 Expansion Pack, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles, Metroid Prime Remastered, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC maps, and upcoming May 12 is Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's it for gaming news. Have a great day. Go, Go Buffs. Buffs. Where are 
are we? Where is this place? Oh, hey, guys. I wasn't expecting y'all so soon. Um, oh, what, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Where are we? All of the answers you seek will be revealed soon. What does that mean? What, what is this? What kind of magical buffoonery? Uh, uh, okay. Okay, um... Look. Well, okay, so what's happening? I don't know. We opened the door, and this is what happened. I don't... Life is strange, man. What, yeah. what are you talking about? Um, can you give us any more information? Yes, I can. Shh. To find the answers you seek, you need to leave. I guess we gotta leave. What kind of... You know what? I don't have the mental capacity to deal with this right now, so we're just gonna go. Hopefully, it'll get to where we want it to go, um, but apparently, we need to leave now. Okay, um, so do we... Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Ten, ten, nine, you hear that counting down eight, noise? Yeah. Seven, That's just that. Strange. Six, do, we, do we really need to leave now? Like, uh, now, now? Four, Let's just go. Three, yeah, like, I'd rather go. Two. Hey, hey buffs. buffs, spring break is coming up in two weeks, so get those grades up. What are you doing for spring break? Um, I don't know what I'm doing currently for spring break, but uh, I know last year I went dirt biking, which has been fun. That's cool. I'm what gonna are you sleeping. doing? <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> well, that's all we have for today. I'm gonna go nap. Go Buffs. Go Buffs. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence.